Hello and welcome back all you budding airsoft enthusiasts. Now this is weapon we said we we're going to let our friend do, but he wasn't quite up to the task. Well, yes. he was a bit nervous. He's sitting there in the corner watching and learning. But this... Hey guys. Yes. <laughs> this is the Elliot 5A2 SA80. The airsoft designation for it is the HA202. Now this is a spring rifle. It is HFC, I believe. Yes, it is. Spring rifle, very powerful. Officially, it's 310, but they recorded going at 380, which is more powerful than most sites allow, so just say it's 310, and they'll never know. Or say it's a sniper rifle, but it's not really. Yes, you could wait to say that, because real sniper rifle is 500, I believe, is the limit for sniper rifles. Now, the bulb bulb configuration, which means the magazine is behind the trigger, which allows it to be shorter. It also tends to extend the barrel a bit. Now, you can see, catching orange and black. Magazine, here. Safety is in front of the handle above the trigger. Just like a real one? Yes. On the real gun? When it's taken to the left, safety is off. You push it, or it comes out the far side, safety is on. It's just that simple. This, everything on this pretty much like a real gun, except the fire selector. We can see at the back here is useless. Yes, because this and is... And there's no working parts really behind the dust bar. Yes, this is just for decoration, as far as I can tell. There's no real parts in it. Uh, Cocking levers are the same, though. Yes. The magazine just pulls straight out, which is unusual, I think. Now, this is a weird magazine. I'll yes. Explain. Personally, I find it's awkward to load. You take the plunger out, which is sitting there. You push it down this hole, which is where the BBs go. And then the and spring comes out the bottom. The spring, yes. Yeah, so we become at the bottom, which causes the spring to lock. Put this back in here. And you load BBs in one by one. Well, you can use a bottle. But I can't get to the work because I'm, well... Oh, and the spring Sometimes came off on you. Yeah. Yes, which why I would recommend having a few spare magazines lying about for this. It's because it's a bit of a faff. Which is why it's not a d meant for full combat. It's a spring. And there we go. It's <sighs> temperamental as hell. It's like woman on a period. Somebody hold it down at the bottom. <sighs> there we go. That worked. I did it manually just at the bottom. Now, I'm not about loading this up fully because, well. As you can see, it's a hassle, and sometimes the BBs going down can cause the spring to loosen because the huge pressure of 0.22 grams causes it to go off. Don't know why. Which is why it's good when loading to keep one finger over the top in between. That would make sense. Yeah, so yes. whenever you release the spring, make sure to keep one finger at the top or other your thumb just to make stop BBs going everywhere. You know, I personally, when I, a few times I use this, which isn't very often as it's not my weapon, it's my friend Stuart's. That'll do for now. I was well, in putting in. Now, you put it straight out, but I'm putting it back in. You push this down, then put the magazine in, let this go. Essentially, you can pull the magazine out without pitting the catch. Yes, but at the bottom here now, this wee black knob, you pull it back because it's brand new. Push, push the, the spring up into the chamber. There is meant to be a wee cover across this, but our friend lost it during a skirmish, which doesn't affect the functionality of it. It's just, it's just aesthetics. And aesthetics. Yes. Now, like I said, spring rifle. You pull back on the cocking handle here, let go bring yourself back up to cock ready to fire. And also due to the design of this rifle, it would be in very much impossible for someone who is left handed to use it. Yes. However it's... I am left handed. <laughs> it's not a bit extra, so it can well, cause awkwardness. Now I'm an accurate person with this, and I'm not quite sure if it's like to zero or not, so it may or may not hit. I'm not sure that hit a bit low. So yes, powerful. There is a decent weight to it. And this is a fresh target, so your accuracy will be scrutinised. Not my rifle. <laughs> but okay. So it's saying good weight. It's ABS plastic, which is you, you high could, density, good quality. You could fire up to 0 0.3 with this, probably. Yes. I guess. Anything else to be said about this? Don't believe so. Well, solid well feel, price. Solid. Price. You're nothing loose or wobbly. Price, you can get it. Online forty nine ninety five plus PMP. We got it for seventy pound. Yes, yeah, so it was seventy. We got it for. We got it in the same place. We got our uh, um, AEGs. Yes, but that is about everything I can think of to say on this. <laughs> Anyone else? Anything else? Um, let's have a quick check at the target. Oh, that's the pressure's on. Right, off. Go on ahead. Don't shoot me. Okay. Now this is not a weapon, so don't judge me by the accuracy. As we can see here, it's. Decently accurate. Um, <laughs> you know, a lot of hit. Jesus, everything hit the target, basically. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you. Very much. Fun to use. Oh, it's fun. Hold on, hold on. We have to get that. Problem. Most importantly, it is fun as hell.